Guys, things are really bad in there. Katie was arrested for the murder of one senator, the Tola's son. And Vivian, Vivian was disdained for resisting arrest or something, and then, and, and what did they call it? Disturbing the peace of whatever. I don't have the details yet, but the lawyer is working on getting Vivian a bail, but Katie can't get a bail. What do you mean, Katie can't get a bail? This is a murder case, and you don't get a bail. Both of them are in the same cell. For what again? I just told you. Vivian for resisting arrest and disturbing peace. Uh, Katie for getting involved in a murder case. This is really bad. You guys are not seen like that. I think it's really, really bad. So in this case, what do you suggest we do? Well, we all go home. Since none of us can be allowed to see her. Except the lawyer. So we'll go home and wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. I don't think any of us should go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. We must remain here until they release them. How can we leave them? It's so cruel. Go home. Go home and do what? Ah, Sister John. Welcome. Please be seated. Sister Jennifer. Um, please, could you repeat what you told me about what you witnessed in Boyd's office the other day? Pastor, I saw Sister Joanne and Pastor Boyd romancing. What about you? Are you not dating Brother Joseph? Sister Jennifer, tell me it's not true. Pastor, it's not true. She's only trying to frame you because I caught them. Sister John, I know you remember that this is the house of God. Please don't lie. Are you having any ongoing relationship with boy? <sighs> Sister John, I'm still waiting for an answer. <sighs> the medical board want to see her procedures. No. I want her taken to court. And I want you to make sure she gets the death sentence. Okay, I shall proceed to see to that immediately. No, I'll go with you. No, madam. Why not rest while I see to it? No. I want to see the woman that killed my only son. No, no, no. I want to look into her eyes. The one will look at her when she's out. Ah! You're hurting me. Wait. Come on, have a seat. Um, from the expression on your face, I did not ask you if you know this lady. So I'll go straight to the point. Are you having an ungodly affair with her? Yes, Pastor. Good. I won't ask you why or how it started, but I assume you're repentant. Not a day that goes by that I don't regret the relationship I had you going with her. I... The thing is, when, whenever I tried to get out of it, I found myself moving through it. I... I tried to end up the relationship, but she just won't let me. It's now my fault, right? So it's now my fault. Was it not you who approached me? Was it not you? Now listen, this is not time to trade blames. The devil is out there, looking for souls to drag down. Pastor Boyd, you have a wife at home, yet you lusted after her flesh. And you, Sister Joan, you in turn didn't help. Um, I believe both of you have learned your lessons. Yes, yes. I've I've learned my lesson. I've repented also. Good. And Sister John, what about you? Pastor, I, I, I do not regret anything. I don't regret it. For so long I've 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 sought for a husband. Look at me, I'm not getting any younger and I can't seem to find one. 
and you think the best thing is to take another woman's husband? Listen, Sister John, by taking another woman's husband, you're laying a bed of stones for yourself. Wait upon the Lord, and in good time, He will answer your prayers. Where is your faith? Devil have blinded her with desperation. Sir, I I know you disappointed in me, but I've asked for forgiveness and I I please I I don't want this to go outside the church. Definitely it's going to go out. Because you're going to confess to your wife and then to the congregation. <laughs> A pastor, that that's a scandal. I, yes. I, I can't go in front of the church and... Better a scandal and true cleansing than you hiding a sin. And that does no harm. The Bible says that we should say the truth and expose all lies, no matter the cost. You're going to go to your wife and confess to her, or else I'm going to tell the general overseer. My wife? From your statement, you both said the disease was as good as dead, and you made some technical points that which I don't understand. Uh, I want you to throw more light on that. Um, shall I? Um, look, let me. Okay. Um, in a state of multiple life of stops, he had a perforated spine liver, kidneys, and some large intestines, which caused internal bleeding. You know, which if it was brought in like 20 minutes or 25 minutes earlier, may have increased his chances of survival. But then, the excess alcohol in his system had already traumatized the body. Nice. You know, please throw one line. What do you mean by traumatized? He was already in a bad physical condition. The surgical operation was complicated because there was so much loss of blood. And when there is too much loss of blood, the heart automatically starts to ration the blood it sends to some vital and critical organs of the body, or thereby overwhelming the heart. When the stress was too much for the heart to bear, he started shutting down. Exactly what caused the seizure. Mm. Seizure. Well, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. But there's still this issue that is still very bothersome. Of which of it, sir? See, we are all human beings. I don't understand how possible it is for a woman who was brutally raped by someone. And for the same person that was raped, come back and operate on that same person who will get hacked. Don't you think uh, the animosity, doesn't that bring the animosity into play? I was filled with hate and rage at the mere sight of him. I felt like stabbing him to death, ripping off his chest and cutting off his no other trauma to what any man can do to a woman. I, yet, even in my hateful mood, in my repulsion for him, I still had the good to save his life. I tried. Wasn't that so? Uh... Make you a superwoman, then considering the oath of your profession that forbids you treating any patient that uh, you have a strongly emotional attached. Um, officer, let me come in. When she told me of her relationship to the deceased, I, I was immediately uncomfortable with her operating on the patient. But 
we're running out of time and it will take us like two hours to get a surgeon that is qualified enough to you know undertake the operation i mean i i really do blame myself because i would have insisted he was left alone to his fate as we wouldn't have been discussing this now but that would have been contrary to the oath we swore as a doctor. Are you saying there's no other doctor to perform the operation? Um, you can confirm that from the CMD, sir. Officer, can I, can I, can I just ask you one question? Please go ahead. I have not heard anyone. Say anything about my case. Is it because I am not the president's daughter? Or is it because he is a senator's son? My case is not important. Um, doctor, your case is highly being investigated as we speak right now. By who? By who, officer? Look, I am not trying to tell you how to do your job. But I think it would only be fair and proper that someone at least interrogates the senator. The senator! To find out who his son hung up with on that night that I was brutally Ripped. I think it's only fair. Um, I think you have a point, um, but I can show you your case will be fairly investigated. <laughs> I just pray so. Do you know why? I, I pray so. Because right now, I feel so victimized. Just wrongly. I pray so. <laughs> Mommy, seriously? It's an attack from the pit of hell. Hmm. Yes. So what are you doing to counter it and make sure it doesn't happen again? I I don't understand. You yourself said it's an attack from the pit of hell. So what are you doing to counter such attacks and make sure it doesn't come back again? Yeah. We pray, you know? We pray. How often? Um Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. My goodness. Sometimes, Dora. Of course, I pray sometimes, Mom. Seriously? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. I pray. Oh my God. Even the juju men. Oh, I'm talking to you, okay. young lady. Okay. Look at me. When okay, I talk I, to I'm, you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Mom. <laughs> Even the juju men who have Satan, they get up and pray to him. Do you know they pray? Then you that have the real thing, you have God. You do not pray. You pray sometimes. Mom, we pray sometimes. Sometimes. I don't want to lie to you, Mom. We pray. Okay, 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 Mom. Listen. Do you want to go to the hospital or you want to go? To the oh, house? oh, oh. You're trying to get rid of me oh, now. No, I can't okay. get rid of All right, you. All right, all right. You know, take me to my son. Just, okay, take me to my son. Okay. But well, you pray sometimes. Oh, Mom. Okay, I pray every day.
Relax. Nothing is wrong with your leg, just just relax. I can't feel my legs. It's okay, it's because of the local anesthesia. It's okay. It's very okay. Kathy. She's fine. Okay. Where is she? She's at the force headquarters, but it's okay. What happened? She's fine. Don't worry yourself. Just rest. She'll be okay. God is in control. You have a headache? Hmm? It's okay. Why did you let us meet here in the garden? Don't you know it's not safe? <laughs> safe? From what? From who? <laughs> your wife? Oh, no, no. Your friends. The world. Please. Baby, it's not like that. It's never ever like that with you, Greg. I mean, anyway, I just brought you here so that we can discuss very frankly. But maybe we could have done her in front of your house or something. <laughs> no. I realize that you prefer to sneak in and out of my house where no one can see you. <laughs> but that's not happening anymore. I'm done with that happening. I just think, you know, we should be able to express our love in the open, darling. Hmm? But why is that you suddenly become so hostile? Do you know that you and my wife, you nag, you call the same. I don't know whether you went to the same nagging school or you just <laughs> nag. Uh, that's the problem, Greg. Gregory, you are the problem. You know, actually, I can now actually empathize with Sus. The thing about you is that you're such a weak man. You're always in search for the path of least resistance. Do you know that women are all the same? You present yourself differently, but yet you scratch every woman you find a nag. Right. I was just about to say the same thing about you, man. You guys always, always complain and mourn about how all your wives are terrible. But then the problem is you're never ever going to leave them. You won't leave them. Well, Right now, I'm just thinking, what is it that you and your friends delight in just coming to single, vulnerable, lonely sprinters like us and break our hearts? What, what's your delight? Claire. Claire. I deserve all the insult in the world, okay? But leave my friends and you. You All right? If you do that, it's not fresh, it's not nice. So stop it. Just get out. I still have the mind of tipping you in the pension. Well, officer, you can do that at your peril. I know my rights. If you want to take me to court, don't well, be my guest. But you see that woman that you have kept in yourself for two weeks without trial? Well, be rest assured that as soon as I get released, you will be getting a litigation for the white chambers. What is it? What is it with you? We will try to do our best here. All you be giving up is coming all the time. But your best is not good enough, officer. My friend was raped, and you all took your bloody time to do the damn investigation. But the moment you hear that Senator's son had died under operation, you all leave your hot seat running after some innocent girl and molesting her. Well, since you all have chosen to serve only the rich and the influential, People like me still exist. The set the poor. Just, just go. Take your Mahala out of the way. It's all right. Thank you very much. You can go. Just leave, 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 leave. It's all right. Go. It's nice to meet you. Officer. 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 Oh, sorry, well, sorry, man. Uh, good afternoon. Man. You're welcome. Thank you. What is the latest? Where is the woman? I want to see her. I don't think that's a, a very good idea, Mara. We're still investigating. What is there to investigate? That will not kill my son! Okay. Susan, what is the matter with you? What is the matter? I thought she's having his baby. <laughs> Oh. oh, I feel your pain. Oh, that's sad. But I blame you, you know? Yes, I do. What did I do? I've stayed in this house and I see the way you treat him. With disrespect. So why will he not go outside? Why will he not go outside to another woman? Who will pamper him and love him and honor him? Respect, they say, begets respect. Susan. I just wanted him to be a man. 
Oh. So does that mean that she go out and go and get people pregnant? Of course. I blame you. If you treated him with respect, he will be here. But because of the way you treated him, he had no choice. Well, I don't care. Nobody can treat me this way. I will divorce him. Oh, that's the solution? Oh, well, you'll just be swapping places with her. Congratulations. Yes, she becomes the wife and you become the divorcee. Think about it, Susan. Is that what you want? Anyway, it's okay. Dry your eyes. Let's join the others inside. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. come, come, come. come, come, come. come. Oh. Welcome. Thank you, Mom. So happy you're back. Welcome. Thank you so much. Where's your husband? Oh, my boy, that's fine, I'm sure. I um, quickly dashed home as soon as I was released. I was hoping I was going to sing him, but I was um, a little bit disappointed, but I sent him a text, oh. and he understands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he knows I'm free and I'm here now. Mm -hmm. I was going to go over to the office, you mm -hmm. You know, while I was staying at the cell, there were just two women who had been there for almost a week or more, wow. you know, without trial, oh. nothing. I mean, it's so insane what they did to people out there. Mm. Really, they, don't, they didn't even give them a lawyer because they couldn't produce one. Mm. I mean, that is this, like violating of human rights and I think I really want to step in. What do you think? Is mm. it? Mm. No, it's okay. I'm okay. It's only stress when you want it to be. You see, the God I serve has given me peace. There's no stress. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Now, um, about Kati. I'm afraid I have a little bad news. And she wouldn't be really soon. <gasps> no, no, it's nothing to worry about. It's just procedures. You know, the case hasn't taken away from, from cut to the uh, medical cancer. So they have to go through different procedures. Oh. And the results of the procedures will determine what the police will say. Whether the grant bill or whatever it is. Oh. Well, I assure you that everything will work together for her. Yeah, it's going to be okay. But that's the only it's way just the procedures. police can act. Hello, baby. I miss you so much. Oh. Hello, baby. I I wanted I, I wanted to listen to what I have to say before my courage fills me. What is it? You're sounding down. Are you okay? Baby, please just listen to me, please. I'm begging you. I don't have the courage to face you, to say what I want to say. Okay, sweetie, I'm worried for me. Hmm? Baby, please. Beg you in the name of God to find in your heart to forgive me. I beg you. <laughs> Boy, come on. You know I'm not cut out for all this suspend thing, okay? Just say it. What is that? <laughs> I have so much to say, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know where to start from. <laughs> Baby, the truth is, I've, I've been cheating on you. What? Baby, please. Please, baby, just, just listen to me, baby. I can explain everything. Baby, baby, please.
with his children. Void, the pastor. So what are you saying? That we remain business partner and I give birth to this child for you and then you remain married to Susan? Does that make any sense to you, Greg? Hmm? This, this, this thing is getting very complicated, okay? And I think it was all a mistake. Mistake? Oh my God! Us? You mean we're a mistake? So you've forgotten all those times you used to hurry to my house and rush me off to bed. You call that a mistake? I mean, all those stupid lies you told me in my ears, all those lies you responded to my ears, you also call that a mistake? You told me you loved me more than Susan. Shouting and yelling is not going to go anywhere. And stop putting the blame on me, okay? Because we are both guilty. I can see. I blame myself because I've been very foolish to believe all your stupid lies. I've been very stupid. Greg, get out of my house. What? I said, get out of my house! What about the baby? What baby? You think you're man enough to impregnate a woman? Get the hell out of my house! go through all this seriously I'm beginning to ask myself one question why were men created in the first place my dear if you question that and you question God you question the reason why he made the first marriage in the first place you know he performed the first marriage in the garden and he made a woman as a helper if you check there's a woman helping one man or another either her husband a pastor her brother it's like that that's the way it is. So there's nothing you can do about it. It's a, it's a very sad truth, right? It's, it's like we're trying to accept that this is our lot. Yes. That's why we're married. That's why we married the men. Because, I mean, that's a woman's lot. She's there to help a man. So if you feel you cannot help him anymore, then you move on. What, what are you asking me to do? Okay. Yes. Oh, this guy hurt my feeling. He has betrayed every trust that I have in him. The five of vows he made to me, and you just want me to accept him back, take his bow here and his shame, his disgrace, and just... Yes. yes, my dear, that's what I'm saying. To forgive, you have to learn to forgive. You have to learn to beg for God's grace to help you forgive. Because that's the way men are. There's nothing you can do about it. I told you, men are like that. They were made. I mean, it's a, it's a very hard truth, huh? It's a very hard truth to accept. Yes. But that's the way they are. That's the way they were made. 
for me, I would say men are dishonorable. They are, they lack discipline. Okay, complete. We we'll let it out. That's a little too hard. But, okay, it's the truth. They kiss. Yes, they're just impossible. I mean, it's really impossible. Oh, yeah, they're just wicked. They're cruel. They're stupid. They're good. Dog your mouth, cat. The fuck? Every single word, they deserve you for that word. I want to go through like this. Every word we use. They deserve it. Okay. Are you the lizards? Vultures. All right. Cats, dogs. Okay. Because you're a dog. I just said, let it out. Okay. But that is the truth. That's how they are. And so we have to live with it. They are that and a lot more. But you have to learn to live with them like that. That's the truth. For me, it's like you're you're advocating for men. That's what this no, is. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I am an African woman, and then I'm a Christian, and then I advocate for the truth. So I'm just telling you the way it is. That's how they are. There's nothing you can do. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What did that go on? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You are a lawyer. What do you think will happen when this case goes to court? Well, I think the officer was right. Our case can only be factual if we accept that your son and his friends actually went out. No. We can't accept that. Gosh. It will be a scandal. A dishonor. But, but that is the only way we can establish our motive. Honorable. If you have something to say, say it. Um, yes, but I'm a bit wary. I don't know how you take it. You, you always feel... You always felt I'm too harsh on your son. I probably would not like it. But that's why you're my PA. To always tell me the truth. I'm not minding if I hit the roof. Um, well, um, I'm of the opinion that um, your son actually assaulted her. If you recall, I complained about his harassment towards me and the other households. <sighs> so what do you suggest we'll do? Honestly, I suggest we let the sleeping dog lie. I know you have the power and the influence to destroy that woman. But I know you too well. If you send that woman to the gallows and later find out that she actually tried to save your son's life, you will never forgive yourself. Get out. Get out! So, she threw me out of the house. You're very lucky she did only that. She could have done worse things or even thrown hot water on you. Well, guys, uh, <clears throat> I have something to say to you guys. I know you all be disappointed in me, but I have to make this confection, so... You can be a free man and start a new page. Is it about John? <laughs> yeah, how, how do you know her? Yeah, it's a long story. Who is John again? Well, she's a woman I was having an extramarital relationship with. Boy! Louis! You're pulling my legs. No, no, no. Tell me that, I will believe you. You're pulling my legs, right? No, why? When I heard it, I was disappointed myself. Guys, uh, I'm so sorry. I know you guys are disappointed in me, but... Does Vivian know about this? Yeah. Vivian knows about it. My senior pastor actually insisted that I tell her, or he placed me on suspension. But I couldn't face her. So I... I called her. Well, it's a good thing you called her, because hell has no fury than a woman's called. What was that reaction? What kind of question is that? 
How do you expect her to react? She got mad, she got angry, and cut the phone off my ear. Ah, what do you expect? Talking from experience, you never have to do that thing. Next time, come to me for notes, huh? You have to give her like one week, two. You're stupid. You're full of shit. You know that? You're hey, stupid. wait, though. Am I the pastor sleeping with his vlog? You're what? a stupid man. Instead of taking out the beam in your eyes, you, 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 you're celebrating a brother's downfall. No, I'm sorry. I know what you guys mean, but I know I did it, and I've done it. And you're not remorseful, you did it. That is what makes Boyd a better man. It is not the downfall of a man that makes him a man. It is the fact that he rises after the fall. Boyd is repentant and remorseful. That makes him a better man. Man, no man, fall, no fall, he's still a hypocrite. You're the fool here. Open your eyes. Repent of your ways. Repent of your ways. Oh, hell, Pastor Pete. It is morally wrong. You have to do something about that boy. He's getting out of hand. That boy, as you called him, happens to be my only son. The only child. The only thing I have in this world. Are you suggesting I should report my son to the police? With all due respect, madam, I suggest you take him to a... Psychiatric home for treatment. Take my son to a shrink? But he's sick. I take an exception to that. My son is not sick. And I will never subject him to such humiliation. Huh? Honorable. Of course. How long will you continue to bail this boy out? You're a public figure. If this gets out... If this gets out... Then I know you sold me out. And that I will never forgive. May I remember that I made you? And you owe me a lot. Against all the advice about your age, I still took you as my personal assistant. <sighs> Maybe you understand when you start having your own children. Understand what? Understand that there is nothing a mother would not do. To protect her only son. But you're not protecting him. You're destroying him. I am just doing what every mother would do. Are you okay? Some woman killed my son and they asked me if I'm okay. Maybe you should stay off the liquor a bit. Maybe you should get off your high horse and do something. What the hell am I paying you for? Okay, what do you have me do? Go to the medical board for a start. I don't care how you do it. I don't even care how much you have to spend. Just make sure the brothers are guilty. Oh, no, Senator, this is not you. You can't influence the board. It's not right. Now let me tell you what is not right. Some woman brutally murdered my son. And nobody's doing anything about it. Oh God. I'm sorry, Senator. I won't do it. Oh, yes, you do it. You will do it. So, Faith, how have you been hanging on? I know you're devastated. Yeah. 
Patty, I am everything. I am upset. I am angry. I feel betrayed. I feel disgraced. I just wish I could keep that man. Yet I just find myself blaming myself. It's natural. It's just natural. But let me ask you this question. Do you still love him? A lot. Then pray for him. Pray for the grace to forgive him. With everything I've gone through in life, I've come to realize that there is there's nothing in this life. Kati, I I don't know what to do. Seriously. I mean, where have I failed more? How? I don't deserve this. How could I go to church knowing that my family is a topic of discussion? He is supposed to be a pastor. A man of God. Vivian. There are two categories of people who go to church. The ungodly ones who dwell in gossip and broadcast it. There are also the other set of people who are godly, God-fearing. They hear these gossips and they go down on their knees and pray for you and Boyd. And you and I know which of them we will go with. It's just so hard going through this alone. I need my friends with me. I wish you were out. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just wish that I could have all of your authority to take you out of this goddamn place. Why are they so dumb to realize that you are innocent? Faith, I will be vindicated. I will be vindicated because I didn't do anything wrong. God will make a way. Definitely. So just hang on in there, okay? So you'll be fine. Thanks for coming. I don't even have a bed, I told you. You can get this food in there, you have to eat something. I will never go back to that trip again. Ever! Oh God. But you know what, girl? Oh. After all said and done, you can't blame them. We're the desperate ones here. Oh, please. So does that give them the right to tour and mess with our hearts? Does it? I mean, God. Anyway, I shall be comfortable being a single mom. I can take care of myself and my baby. I mean, only that my father is going to scream blue murder, but then the deed has been done. <laughs> then yes, down the line, that bastard is going to want to claim the child. I shall kill him if he tries it. Mark my words, girl. He will come back and there is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> God, I will never ever date a married man again. I never will. Do you think I dated a married man because I want to? The bachelors are even more irresponsible. It's unfortunate that out of every 10 bachelors, only one wants to commit. <laughs> they all talk about looking for the right girl. I guess when those times the Bible talked about when there shall be seven women to one girl, is that it? God forbid. God forbid it. It's not my portion. I reject it in Jesus' name. I'm a very, very intelligent, beautiful, and industrious woman. I won't settle for less anymore. Never. So are so many women out there, millions of women out there, those stupid women who are lucky to be married, maltreat their husbands. I don't even know what we single girls that are searching are looking for. They know what we go through. So you said it was a miscalculation? Uh, yes, madam. Um, I left him with that um, impression. The doctors admired you. 
But my mission in his office was a disappointment to him. So they want to connive and cover up for her, eh? But, um, I'm sorry, madam. You know, it's something your son is capable of doing. Don't you ever say that about my son again. Ever! You don't speak ill of the dead. I'm sorry, madam. You better be. Anyway, maybe one day, when you have your own child, you would understand the anguish I'm going through. My son's death must account for something. Madam, make it count for something positive. Why not use it uh, for your re-election? Why not open the foundation? We're talking about something tangible here. And you're asking me to spend my money opening a foundation? Oh, please. Honorable, I will be failing in my duties if I do not warn you of the danger in the path you're about to tread on. Yes, the, the media has been sympathetic, but that is the fact that they have no idea that the doctor involved is being investigated and detained. So what? Hmm? She's an important surgeon in that hospital. The only qualified one. She enjoys very good relationship with all the staff. If this gets out, they will go on strike. And this will paralyze all the activities in the hospital. Ooh. And the involvement of your son in the rape will give you a very bad publicity, madam. Are you true? Now get the hell out of here. Get out. I I still have something to say. What more do you have to say? Um I'm resigning. All this goes against my moral principles. I know you grieve your son. But you're destroying people and yourself. I have tried. I can't do this anymore. What? Feel free. You're not the only lawyer. I will get somebody better to replace you just like this. I wish you best of luck, madam. But I pray you realize that the path you have chosen will only destroy you and everything Everything you have worked for. Get out. Get out! I said get out.
My name is Chinedi Kedeze. Aki, my name is Osita Ihebe. Papa. My name is John Iketuko Gav. Ibo. I thank you. Nigerians, Africans, in fact, the world over. I thank you immensely. I want to thank you for your patronage. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for watching our movies. Join hand, they say thank you so much. But we are not happy at all. We know they eat again all because of piracy. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten games. Twelve, five. No, 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 no. Call police when you come. Now, please. Anytime you buy a film and you see thousands and hundreds and tens of films, it is fake. If you buy them, you don't join them. No, because if you, if you buy them, you know, you know they talk. You know they clear. God did not give me talent and say, come and make people rich and make people happy and remain poor. Want us to start begging on the streets, eh? Abi, start giving by me and Abi. Add them all. This is never gonna be sabotage. Please, don't buy this. Put any information about piracy. Leave us a note, text or email us, and we will get handsome reward. Our telephone is zero eight one six six two seven three three four one or zero eight zero five two three seven four zero three four. Our email is anti piracy war at yahoo dot com. Time of death, 330. I'm losing my mind! <laughs> my friend was raped. Can I rape myself? Now pick up my bag. Huh? Pick it up! You hear me? Oh, I'm I've been cheating on you. Is it my fault that your wife was raped? Stop! No! 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 Cut his pregnant. Where is my son? Oh, is it because he is a little son? No! She was the only one of it. And I want you to make sure she gets the death sentence. Stop scooping in no way. I will get out of here. Get out of here. Just drive. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry, we lost. What? She's beautiful outside and very dirty inside. She is a kleptomania. She wishes to be exciting. Her three brothers are out to fall. I said, Why is the money? They have orders in the room from your. You came over here. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What happened to the engagement ring in this case? The other day I told you she was trying to steal my wristwatch. She didn't believe me. Today she was trying to pocket my handset. She's a thief! Yet she looks innocent. Let's we take her around the entire village. Make her this night! Yes! Yes! Would you like to her? It was to death. The one is my happiness. You are sick. I will disown you. She can. I said, what did you do to her? The question is, are you sure you know her well enough? Hey, 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 hey. Stop we will steal. Now, we still didn't know that. Well, that girl is like like supposed to be in the house. Stop. Leave her in my shop for Lagos Plaza. And have an international set of Lagos. That's the best life production. 143 in Nambi as it is to the Lagos. We will steal. How can a common man suddenly turn to a woman in my father's house? You're gone. You're not the only one. That's death. Speak to me in such pain. You're the one. Your men should not be ignored. You address me as your highness. I want you to talk of your belongings as soon as you see the light of day. That is a woman who has no shame. A woman who has the energy. The gods speak on the woman that in this I don't know your very nose. How are you doing nothing about it? You hide behind this white wall. People's wives, even with my own wife. You! Where is she? You know what happened? You tell us. You tell us. Hey, uh, the 
maidens. Hey! I am the law and order. Want to have it. And for those whom I choose to come ahead, the king and his nephew pour death upon you. And how can a common maid suddenly turn to a queen in my father's house? You dare to speak to me in such tones? That is a woman who has no shame, a woman who has the courage, the guts to speak to your father. This open on your very nose, and you do nothing about the children. Even with my own wife, and I can easily destroy that. A new man, and a new man has powers. Okay, for the ample. You tell her what? You tell us. I know her. As soon as you see the light of day. Yes, ma'am. Hey, 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 hey. You can have my queen. You can have another picture of your own. But that is indicated that she has spread and she confessed that you are responsible. Ah! Be in your own privacy at first court alone if your guilt is weighing down. The lady is you. by D Cross Movie Productions Limited, Shop 4, Zebra's Plaza, and other international guest Best Life Productions, 143 Nandi Adi Street, Lagos. Bloody wing! Hey man, the fucking girl refused to dance for me and was making jest of me. Man, I had to beat the living shit out of my eyes. I mean, I didn't even see the signs coming. We spent the last weekend together, didn't we? I mean, did I overreact? By throwing the drink at him, I even throwing his drink at him, I didn't overreact. Oh. I brought you flowers. Because that's what you are to me. Smelling flowers. Please don't leave here. Things are not always going to be like this. Mm -hmm. I'm certain. Things will change. You can't continue to suffer and just be here and suffer like this. All the girls. They carry themselves in a certain manner. And then they go around sleeping with men. Did you ever hear of uh, Tupac and Biggie Saga? You should have blown off the brain of that girl, man, and pulled out the manhood of that asshole. There is no responsible man that will get into a fight just because a girl turns him down. This being has the right things in the right places. <laughs> I'm a bloody hippo fan, baby. And uh, does he actually have to, you know, obtain my consent before he married Beyonce?
I feel like I have failed in my duties as a wife. I failed in my marriage. You say things like that. But if I haven't, why would a boy do something like this to me? You see, my dear, the only thing you can do is find a way to forgive him. Look deep down in your heart and forgive him. <sighs> forgive him? Yes. How can I ever trust him again? He betrayed me. I know. And I really sympathize with you. Whether it's gonna work or not, I don't know. Whether he's gonna be faithful, I'm sorry, I can't say. But do find a way to forgive him and make it work. You see, men are like that. Men will always be men. It's like the saying they have, love me, love my dog. They have all their attitudes, they have everything that come with them. But it is you as a wife that will make your marriage work. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. You must learn to forgive him. I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I don't know what I would do. If I see him, I just want to kill the best. No, no, don't say that. Don't say things like that. I mean, you have your challenges. He has his challenges. But it is your ability to meet in the middle that makes it work. Look for a way in your heart to forgive him. Come on, come on, baby. I don't know. I don't know why he did this. I don't know. Oh my God! What is happening? Oh, good news! Good news! Good news! Peter released today. No! Oh my God! 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 Show you no get better. Huh? You're pregnant too. How can this now? You don't think why they suffer? Hmm. Now, but let me that. But you love to pray. I beg you, not today. You get better, guys. You tell us a woman for you. Look at the kids. Oh, God, I'm doing the most. Hey, good. My tribulations never end. God has turned his back on me. God has forsaken me. What did I do? God, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do sin? We got the whole this. Why? Why did you just kill me? Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Oh God, am I the only sinner? Am I the only one who has sinned? Tell me. Am I, am I the only person on earth? Why are you doing this to me? Why, oh God, why? Just kill me. I still feel Katty is innocent. I know it, my bones. I know she is. Of course she is. Oh. You think I feel she did it? Of course. If not, why did you maltreat her then? Mother, you know, sometimes one gets so blind. It took this ordeal I'm passing through to open my eyes. I failed Kathy. I encouraged her to go for her dreams when she told me she wanted to be a surgeon. I knew that whatever she did, she perfected it. Then? It's not her fault that she, she was in demand. Just, mother, that day it happened. I was so angry, I planned vengeance. But, it wouldn't have costed me anything to pick her up from the hospital. 
instead of drinking with the boys. You, you see, all that is water under the bridge now. What is my concern now is how do you make amends? How do you sort out everything? For starters, I will contract the best lawyer money can get. And I'll spend every day at the station. If they wouldn't let her be by me, I will come outside. That's my son. I know I did not give birth to a cruel man. I know. Yeah. What is it? Hey, your son is so urgent on the phone. What's it? What's it? I think you just better see that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Vivian, you said you've quit drinking. What are you doing right now with a drink in your hand? <sighs> Listen, Viv, don't let this push you to the extreme, all right? Dora. Yeah? Kati is pregnant. <laughs> She's pregnant for the Sneta son and his friends. <gasps> I mean, is there by any chance, can I get a bottle of this? Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can you make it two bottles? I got you. Okay. Okay, now I'm actually fortified. Can you run it by me again? Okay. Oh, listen, okay. Oh. Okay. You know, Katie called me up and said that um, she wanted the pregnancy kit. Okay. I had to go over there. And she told me that there was every possibility that she could be pregnant. You know, the damn test just... <gasps> you know what? I have to go see her. No, I, I, no, I have to. No, 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 you have to go. Don't, you cannot do that. I swore secrecy to her. I, I was not supposed to tell anybody. I mean, I can just stay here and do nothing? No. You think I'm happy? Look, I want Katy out of that prison as soon as possible. I want her life to go on as soon as possible. I want her happy as soon as possible. I want her happy like you want her happy. Okay. But I am so running out of options here. I don't know what to do. Lord, Lord, Lord! How much more can this girl take? How much? This is crazy. This is not fair. God. Oh, God, no. Uh, you know, I, I think our only option is um, to go over to the state house to the boss. He knows her. I mean, he should grant her bill on the recognition. You know what? What are you still sitting here doing? Let's go save our friend. Yes, let's go. <laughs> really, hurry. Let's I've just... got a chain. You have to be fast about it, all right? We have to see our friend. Okay? Oh, God. Yes, Senator. I still don't understand why you want to have a meeting. I believe your superior informed you of my intentions. Uh, that's true. I received a signal based on that. Then I think that is sufficient reason for you to make sure I have my meeting. It's okay. I'll still have a police officer present, preferably me. I want to be alone with her. Say, so, madam, we're talking about security here. Um, if for um, instance during the meeting she decides to attack you, I'll be held responsible, vice versa. Okay, this is what we shall do. I can have you place a policeman outside the door. But I don't want anybody in our meeting. It's okay, man. I will have her brought in and have a, a policeman at the door. 
But meanwhile, man, you have to send an uptick in for us, not to attack her. I will send anything. Just make sure I have my hand. We need the handcuffs. I am quite confident in standing. If you are afraid, I'll attack you. Have no fear. I am afraid that I will cause irreparable, serious bodily damage to you. That's why I'm standing. Why are you here? Do you have children? I don't have children. <sighs> then you will not understand how I feel. But someday when you have your own child, you will. <sighs> I was an orphan at a very tender age. And as a result, I live with one relative to another. Thankfully enough, it was easier to go to school. So I got an education. I was so brilliant, I also got scholarships. On one of my returns, I met Junior's father. He was a vibrant man with charisma. Gosh. He swept me off my feet. After our marriage, I dictated a cold secret about him. He was an alcoholic. And under such alcoholic influence, he became so violent. <sighs> Sins of the father are being visited on the son. Boy, I was abused by my husband, who hated my progress. In one of his drinking pain, he died in a car crash. But not after I'm pregnant in the witch, it's in the shit out of me. During his childbirth, I had complications, which resulted in my inability to conceive again. Interesting. Interesting story. How is that supposed to affect my life? Did it kill your son? In as much as I had the urge to, I just couldn't bring myself to do it which I hate myself for. Then I guess I killed this. I guess I killed him. I spoiled him. Even the times the helps complained about his excesses. I told the blind eye. I was too busy being a senator to take care of the only thing that was important in my life. Forgive me.
You grant my client's bail under recognition. I know that you can do it. It's your good office. I'm sorry, I can't do that. From all we've said, officer, I'm sure that you quite understand how we feel about this. I said I can't do that because she's already been granted bail and shot him. Well, I, I really don't understand. I mean, how? By who? I mean, this is crazy. Who? She was guarded by like Shorty by no other than the senator herself. <laughs> I really don't get this right now, please. I mean, it, um, am I like dreaming or am I actually drunk? The same senator that wants her home actually granted her bail? I'm confused myself. I've only had to put this to a miracle to her. Where is my client? I know the senator offered to give her a ride. She refused. So I thought she's probably waiting for you. has not committed suicide. Oh, shut up. Why would you say a thing like that? <sighs> Have any of the boys seen her yet? Ah. But I know one thing for sure. The God I serve will not let me down. Let us pray. She is going to walk through those doors. My God will perform a miracle. He will never kill me. Oh, no, 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 
What do you mean you're not coming in? Well, in this time of happiness, I don't want to be the one to spoil a good situation that Vivian might just go not at my sight. Oh, please. That's a whole lot of crap. The thing is, Greg feels the same way too. He called and asked me if I was going to be at your place today. Look, let me say this. We're friends. We are never perfect. One thing that I know that has kept us going all these years was the fact that we understood each other. And we got each other's back. Carthy will not be happy with your absence. Peter, I think you're right. No matter what happens, so we are going in there with Pete to celebrate together. That's it. So, what happens to Greg? <clears throat> Come on. We are all going in there to celebrate. All of us. Such a horrible, horrible place. Look, I need to take off this hair like yesterday because God knows what kind of venom I must have taken from that place. <laughs> you know, you never told us where you went to after you were bailed. I mean, you had us all worried. I took a long walk. I needed to reflect on things. And then I went over to the hospital for a test. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And tell me, um, how long is it gone, like, you know? <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's okay. I should have known. I should have known that Vivian never shut her big mouth. No. She just never shuts up. No, listen, listen. It's not it's like okay. Oh, God. Okay, listen, all right? It's not like that. I mean, we are all worried about your disappearance, yes. And she told us about it. We are really, really worried. No, okay? So you guys thought that um, I probably had done something stupid, right? Maybe committed suicide or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. The thought actually crossed our minds. But as you said, it's a very stupid thought to commit suicide, right? Very stupid. You agree? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I... I went to the hospital. I needed to ascertain the age of the fetus. I needed to be sure it wasn't Peter's because God knows I would have committed suicide. I mean, there is no way, there is absolutely no way I would bring in a bastard child into this world. I know definitely he would have held me responsible for abortion, but yes, I was ready for it. I was ready to go meet with him and make my case. Um, <laughs> now that you're done scaring me, can you tell me if I'll be wearing black or I'll be an auntie? Please. Yes. What do you think? Yes, I'll tell you what I think. Listen, I think it's really cruel to want to commit suicide without taking permission from us, your friends. And I think it's also very cruel that you kept us in the dark about this matter. Yes. And I think you make a fantastic and fabulous mom. And I, a fabulous and finer auntie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just so impossible, my God. But that was a good one. Of course. <laughs> Seriously. That was a good one. I think your head is, your head is great. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no, but I mean, no, it's good. Don't say it was good. Look, guys, as it stands now, me and Boyd are personal non grata, okay? Why don't you guys just go on and have fun and then we'll do boys' voice later? No way. We are all going in there together. Listen, if the girls blow a fuse, we deal with it together like we've always done. We're going to form a united front and deal with the fire coming. So, gentlemen, shall we now go inside? But do you want me to go inside and tell my mother that you all refuse to come inside? Whoa, 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 whoa. With all due respect, I'd rather deal with ten Susans than your mother. <laughs> so, Biko, shall we go in? Yes. 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 
That makes you a better person, a matured person. Right now, I want everybody to go to his or her spouse and hug them and say, I forgive you. And put things together. I mean it, do it now. and go to your wife. She needs you. Get up and go and meet her. I'm sure by now she'll be preserved. Yes. Go. And still to you ladies, Next time I come, I will use my slippers on anyone that does not present me with evidence of a baby. My back is old. I need to carry some grandchildren. Am I clear here? Yes, ma'am. Yes. That's, that's, that's my kid. Mm -hmm.
Grant, you know you really hurt me. Baby, I'm really sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. I don't think there's nothing, anything to forgive. Listen, it's... It's you and only you I want to be with, okay? Just you, nobody else. Prove it. How? Just tell me anything and I'll do it now. Just tell me anything and I'll prove to you that you are the only one on my mind. I want to have a baby, Greg. I want us to be a family. I will stop taking the contraceptives. You were on contraceptives? Well, I thought you knew. Okay, now you know. <gasps> I was, but now I'm not. Greg, all I want is just... I want to be with you and I just want a family. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's... Let's do it. Do you need it? Yeah. Don't, don't you think they'll miss us? Who? I forgot about the men. It's about us now, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Hey. How did it go? Finally. My procedures were not faulted. I have been vindicated. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I can now go home and sleep in peace mm -hmm. for once in my life. Oh, you need it. <laughs> you need it. You need <laughs> Thank it. you very much. You've been of tremendous help. Okay. I really appreciate it. What are friends with? Beautiful friend like you. <laughs> Stop teasing me. Crush, our condition on was. See now one bottle of your name you didn't share crush. Ah, oh, gee, you know what I mean, BJ, BJ, BJ. How many times I call you? Guy, three times you call. G, for call. That guy na a camu. He no no book. If he listen to us, all these things will not happen. But we won now. When this thing happen, I na say guy, free this girl. Say na na na, na undertake a business. You know who want listen. It they from Kaluka. Eh, hey, share this beer, share this beer, man. Hey, share this thing. I didn't see you. Share this thing, where? Wait, nah. Wait, see, see your own, own. See your own. No worry, no worry. No see me. See me, T. They put you. They must stop. You know what I mean? Guys, guys, wait, 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 wait. Okay, you hold this man. What I want? Why they do like this, now? Nah? No, Mary, no, that's there. You know plenty past your own now. Okay, we'll okay. do like this. Eh? You want to buy one more bottle, Joy? Crush, take your time, man. BJ. Come, oh, come, give me, give me the cigar, Seth. Seth, you don't finish. Give me cigar, eh? You don't finish and finish. I don't go smoke. You know what, man? I beg you, make I smoke too. Ah, how did you? You did fall out of hand. Jay, do you understand what happened? This is Jay, Jay, who is Junior? Junior. You don't know Junior for this town. You know what? when he flex everywhere. If you see us, you don't see Jill. Anyone you see him. You mean the senator or something? Come on, this guy, yo, Gino. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You sabi. Stop, I'm. If we enter a club like this, Hennessy go fall. Red label. Come see girls. Girls, they yakpa. Is it true that he has something in there? I take no this talk now. Guy, I just put a hand on the door. Now, what's guy? Now, correct guy, you. Oh, boy, if you see that girl. Hey, that girl, fine. Ooh. The girl, man. After yes. BJ enter, Junior, me crush. I enter, cross. If you see the way I can take that. That's why they give her, they give her over. You get as much as you do, baby. Ah, this guy's on now. Bless her, give her. Oh, God. Hey. I use that girl, man. Hey. Even Junior. I do with Junior, then all this is over there. Do you know who I am? No, be school, you, you say you be a campus. You're under arrest. You're waiting for a certain talk to Andre. Me? I know you know that you I flash. I'm not talking to talk now. I'm not talking to talk now. Jesus, when are Jesus? I'm not talking to the talk. You have the right to remain silent. But anything you say, that I will be used against you in the court of law. Hey, make a talk and make a use for me for court. And then, like, tell me story book about it. You never read the story book? Ah, you never read the story book? When we get to the state house, you will know. Oh, boy, hey, kill him, oh. Handcuff him. Last story book about it. You must tell us. What is that? 
Stop it, bro. You know that. 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 You the pains of life together though we are I hope you're not here for my husband because baby pregnancy and all mm. I will gorge out your eyes sis drama queen <laughs> you still haven't changed even with your pregnancy anyway I'm here with my husband and my son okay eh? mm -hmm. of course baby yes He's English. His father. My husband. <laughs> I'll see you soon. And oh um, yeah, how's Greg? Send me well to him, okay? Oh my god. Um, as soon as I mean, whose baby is that? Uh, Hafka's baby. Apparently, some um, one Englishman who didn't have eyes. Oh, <laughs> went for this, this thing over there. Did he just say that? I mean, you're pregnant. Stop hating, girl. Sweetie, pregnancy and all. I'm still a monster. Stop hating. I'm in pain. This is me. While we were waiting for us to come out, he was pushing his inside. You're right. But I did mine after yours. That night, you called me. <laughs> Shut up. And you motivated me to do it. No, no. Seriously. Oh, you perfect, darling. Now, check this. I'm so sure my baby is coming because I can hear the baby talk. He said, Daddy, my flight is 2.30. I will be all home. That's going to be a genius of the child. Guys, wait. I think we should pull it Oh, my God. But what about now? What's up? What's up? Oh, my God. What's up? 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 What's up?
marriage gap. Marriage is, I mean, it's the coming of two different people in two different backgrounds together to become one. Marriage is a union between a man and a woman, basically. It's, it's understanding, it's compatibility, it's endurance, it's patience. It's not as easy as we say it is, yeah, because you have issues with marriages. You have to learn to manage your personal basic life. No marriage is perfect. I'm a married woman, my marriage is perfect. I learn every day. It's like an institution, you learn every day. If you look at certain marriages, then when they get too comfortable with each other, then there's the hair net and then there's the acting as if, okay, yes, my husband knows me, so it should be that way. But I just think that marriage becomes dull and the love fizzles, so you should always try and find a way to always keep it alive. And there should be the trips, there should be the foreplay, there should be very adventurous sexual days that you have. And I think that's what should keep marriage going. But I don't think anybody should be forced into marriage. I just think that marriage should come naturally. This is who I want to be. I think it's a wonderful thing, and everybody who is married should remember to always pray as well, because prayer is, or prayer is the key, or God is the key. Put God first, it's going to work. And I hope this movie has really taught us a lot, or taught a lot of people to actually pray the good and the bad side of marriage. And so, uh, yes, that's what I have to say about marriage. For those who haven't yet married, please find somebody to marry. Don't just get married because people are getting married. Get married because it's time for you to get married. And you believe that you found someone worthy enough to spend the rest of your life with. That is marriage. You don't really judge yourself, but your compatibility with others. You, know, you try to live your life not just about you. Now it's not about you. It's about your wife, your children, people all around you. It's asking but with um, God with God you, know, you can scale through you can have a beautiful marriage it's, it's a beautiful institution well talking from experience it's a beautiful institution right I don't know what people think but I just think that people overrate marriage uh, and marriages and basically that's the reason that there's a lot of fallout in marriages. If you look at it, I think that marriage should just not be based on the fact that you love somebody. Because at the end of the day, when you look at the years, the love goes, the love depreciates. So I just think that it should be more than just love. There should be something else that holds you people together when the love fizzles out. So that there could be companionship, there could be communication. And what advice is who are married? Endurance, patience, love, compatibility, trust. It's hard because it's really, really hard these days because there are a lot of distractions out there. But knowing in your heart that no marriage is perfect, just need to be And be aware. Love anybody you with. Trust. Especially as you will see in my own character, marriage is uh, patience, basically, and love and trust. It's very important. If there's no trust, there ain't no marriage, baby. That's what's up.
Thank you.